Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about how to add film grain to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to cover three things. First of all, why noise is not film grain and how to apply film grain and then how to isolate film grain to light and dark areas differently. Let's go have a look. So I'll start by taking a video and create a new sequence. And we'll just start about this point here. And I'm going to go to my effects and type in grain. And one of the things you'll see come up is noise. And a lot of people will um, use noise to simulate grain. I'm going to jump to my comparison view. If you're on an earlier version of Premiere Pro, you don't have this, but you can still add noise and grain. So as I add noise, you can see it adds a bunch of noise. I'm, I'm going to turn that up too much just to show you these two settings here. Use color noise. No, turn that off and clip, please. Yes, clip. If you don't clip, then this will happen. She's kind of beaming up there. So we'll clip that. So let's put this on a reasonable amount let's say 10% and I'll hit play. And you'll see what that looks like. And to a lot of people, they'll think this looks like film grain. Doesn't, it looks like digital noise. It's too sharp and it's too fake animated. It's basically like a bunch of bees buzzing around um, on a filter in the front. It doesn't look real. So instead, let's look at our other options down here, including uh, noise alpha, forget it, it's the same thing just with an alpha channel. Noise, uh, hue, lightness, and saturation, and noise HLS auto. I'll drag noise HLS and let me go back to comparison view. I'll turn off that noise and drag in this noise. And I've got more than one choice. If I add it to the hue, you can see I'm changing the hue. Don't want to do that. Same with saturation. I add the noise to the saturation. I want to add it to the lightness. And again, I, I'm, I'm going over and above what I would normally do uh, just to show you what it looks like. There is a uniform setting, squared setting, or the best one, which is film grain. The problem is when I play this, it's not moving. So it looks like you're looking through a dirty window. You can animate the phase, but that's a heck of a lot of work. So forget that one. Let's delete that one and drag in HLS auto. Use the same settings, go to grain, and the lightness is what we're using. And if I go to the same amount that I used for the uh, other noise, it's too much. And the grain size is too big. So I'm going to take this down to 5% and the grain 0.2. And because this is a slow motion clip, I'm going to change the animation speed where we don't have to change the phase. So these are the settings that I like. 5% lightness, 0.2 grain size, and on this particular clip, 12%. Let me take it off comparison view and blow this up and show it to you. Now that looks more like film grain. It's a little softer, it's more organic, more natural. And if you like that, great. Don't use the noise, use HLS auto noise with a grain setting and make it smaller and then change different animation values depending on what you're trying to uh, emulate. So if we put it on another clip here, So I'll take this clip, copy it, and I'll paste attributes on this clip. 
using the same thing. And let's zoom into that and look at that. You can see it looks very, very nice, very natural, very organic. So like I said, if you like this, great, you're done. It's not accelerated, so it does, I mean, I'm on a smoking fast computer here and it chugs along. So adding film grain, don't do it while you're editing. This is what you would do at the very end when you're, you're exporting your out, you can do it that way. I would also do this on an adjustment layer rather than per clip because it's easier to control overall. Um, but here's the other thing. It, noise does not happen equally in every single part of a clip. It's going to traditionally be, I mean, the natural way is noise is gonna be more in the dark area than the light area. So how do we control that? That's pretty darn easy. So let me go over to this one here where I've got it applied to an adjustment layer. So both these clips, the same clips that I've had before, by the way, these clips were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project, like I did with these. Okay, so the clips themselves don't have noise on them. The adjustment layer has uh, noise on it, which again makes it easier to control because it's the same clip. So you'll notice there's my HLS Auto. Set to grain, 5, 2, 0.2, and, and uh, 12. I've also added a track mat key. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, and copy both of these above. I'll go back to my noise and turn on the track mat key, which is set to video 3. That's where I've duplicated my clips. And I've set this to the luminosity, not the alpha channel. I've got a whole tutorial on using the track mat uh, key effect. Basically what I'm doing is, instead of trying to draw a mask around the dark area like her leotard here, I'm going to let the video itself dictate the dark and light. And you do that by adding a track mat key to the adjustment layer. Follow me along, it's not, it's not too complicated here. Okay. So here is the noise. This is the clip that we're affecting. This is the adjustment layer, and this is the mask. If you turn this on and off, the mask doesn't work. If you turn the track mat off, then you're, you're looking at the clip above, and you'll see the noise disappear. So the track mat is applied to the noise. These are duplicate clips. The problem is, that these clips that you've duplicated aren't dynamic enough. A track mat wants things fairly contrasty, wants things that are dark and light to, to show off an area. So you can affect this duplicated clip with an effect. And I've uh, saved, I've saved three different effects here the Lumetri effect, the extract command, and proc amp. Let me show you the extract command first. If we turn off the track mat and just look at what's happening, this is what the extract is doing. It's converting this into a black and white. The film grain will be more in this dark area and less in the light area. That's exactly what happens with real film grain. So we've added, uh, synthetic film grain, but now we're telling it where to go. The Lumetri effect is the same thing. You can, you're, you're basically just changing the overall contrast of this, or proc amp is another one, and you can change this overall. It's not doing as a good a job as the extract command, but um, if we go back to our noise layer and turn on this track amount. And I'm going to zoom in 400% here. And if I turn off the extract command, you can see how now the noise is showing up everywhere, showing up over here in the right and 
over here on her skin. If I turn that off, change, turn that back on and change this value up and down, you can see I'm getting more control of where that noise shows up. So I can limit it in this area and show it in another area. So like I said, don't use the noise, use the, the film grain from HLS Auto. Um, and if you're happy with that, great, apply it, you're done. But if you want to take it a step further, then you need to do these extra steps. Duplicate your layer, add a track mat, and I think the extract command is, is probably the easiest one to do that. And, and we can see that same thing over here. Okay, so there you go. There's a realistic way to add film grain to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it doesn't cost you anything. There's no extra plugins that you have to add. It's strictly just the grain effect in Premiere Pro. All right, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that through PayPal, one time or monthly donation. There's a link in the description on the front of the channel. Thanks so much to all of our wonderful supporters. And if you want to be notified of new tutorials, because we have a new one every Sunday morning, there's a bell that you've got to click on below and then um, say that you want to get notified. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you and your film grain looking natural the best.